Hello. So I am going to show you how I build my pupa tray. It's, I've showed it in a couple of videos and um, it is definitely something that has worked really well for me and I've had a lot of interest in regards to my pupa tray or drawer. So I wanted to show you how I make it. So um, this is the kind of supplies that you're gonna need. Um, you have the drawer here that you're obviously going to need for the whole setup to go into. And then I have these for my label, which I've already put a label on there for my pupa drawer. You're going to need a little bit of substrate here um, to cut, just sprinkle the bottom of the drawer. Um, something for the moisture for to entice the beetles down from the pupa tray. And a little hidey hole for the pupa, or excuse me, for the beetles to go under because they like to go and hide in the dark. Then you're going to need a small tray of some sort. Um, I got this from the dollar store uh, and it works really well for me. I'm actually making a new one because I need one that's a little bit shorter because um, I'm condensing all of my whole system into this drawer and eliminating my storage and whatnot. So what I use for the legs are these clothespins and I've already cut down the length of the legs that I need um, since the one I have is just a like a fourth of an inch too tall for the drawers that I'm putting them in. Um, so I have this just to measure to make sure that between this and this it is not too tall. I need it to be three inches or less. Um, then I have I used this to go ahead and cut this down. Um, it just makes it for a quick job for me um, and I like it them being even. Um, I have my hot glue gun so this is safe for the uh, pupa and the beetles to be around because it's just melted plastic versus chemicals. So this is how I mount the legs onto the drawer uh, or the little tray. And then I have these two items. Um, this is an X-Acto knife and then a wood burning tool. Um, this makes it really easy to go through the plastic to make the little holes in these for the beetles to escape once they get out of the pupa form. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my tray and I will be right back with you. Okay, so I just sprinkled on a little bit of substrate, just enough to entice the beetles down as well as just a small carrot because you don't, you don't need a lot because there's only the few pupa that hatch. Um, so they'll only be in here for a couple of days until they get black. So you don't need a lot of moisture and something that you can just kind of let sit there for a while that you don't have to worry about creating mold or anything like that. Um, my beetle trays, I put radishes in there, but they eat them within 24 to 48 hours. So I don't have to worry about the moisture buildup on that. And then I have a little hidey hole. Um, my pupa tray will go back here. So the first thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to cut the holes out. I don't want them around the corners right here because this is where I'm going to be putting the stilts or the legs to this little tray. And so you don't want the beetles to climb up the wood and then into the hole. So you want them in. So I typically put two on each side. Uh, that's about an inch into this tray for this particular tray due to the dimensions of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be back. Okay. So I've completed putting the holes in there. They're not perfect, but you know, the beetles don't care. Um, the... Just to, as a side note, the reason why I use the uh, wood burning tool, after I cut out the squares, I use the wood burning tool to make sure that all of these edges are smooth so that they don't do damage to the beetle as they go through the hole. Um, since they're really soft when they first come out of the pupa stage, they are very easily damaged. Um, so you want to make sure that they're all really, really soft 
Um, so that's why I use the hot or uh, the wood burning tool just to smooth those sides over. Um, something else that I want to point out, if you are using something other than this kind of setup where it is completely open for ventilation and air, if you're using like a closed drawer system, um, I used this for a little bit and you want to make sure that you drill all these holes in. I have holes all the way around. Um, even for my like bigger ones, I have really big holes at the top um, to make sure that there is plenty of ventilation. Um, so that is just a side note, depending on what kind of drawer you may be setting up. So now that I have these um, cut out, what I'm going to do now is use the hot glue gun and I'm going to put these on here. So we're going to make the little legs. So I'll go ahead and do that and I will be back. Okay, so I have the legs on there um, and they I put a significant amount of um, glue on there uh, just to make sure that they're on there really well. Um, putting a smooth surface or attaching a smooth surface to another smooth surface can be a little fickle sometimes. So um, you just wanna put enough on there to make sure that it's stable. You also wanna let it dry in the upright position to make sure that it's stable. Uh, so when you're moving your drawer around and whatnot, the tray is stationary. Um, so it'll dry that way. So that way, if you're drying it upside down and then when you set it up, you don't have to worry about it being wobbly. So I'm gonna let this dry for 10, 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm just gonna set this over here and I am going to pour my few little pupa that I have right now into my little drawer. And now, what you have is once the pupa develop into beetles, they will learn to walk a little bit here and then they'll climb out these holes so that they can get to the food, and the carrot and the substrate, and they can hide. I will keep them in here for a couple of days because while they are white or bronze, their shell is still very soft which means that they are still uh, prey essentially to the other beetles. So my pupa is safe, my fresh beetles are safe, and I don't have to worry about uh, the cannibalism uh, from the fact that they're scavengers. Um, and I don't have to monitor them. So just as I found, find the pupa, I put them in the tray and they will do the work. Um, so there you have it. That is what I do for my pupa tray. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any pointers, let me know in the comments. Have a good day.